In this video, I am going to ask three questions to ChatGPT live and show you how it is not a threat to you as a programmer. So guys, this is the ChatGPT screen that you are seeing right now. And if you don't have access to this screen, you can simply go to OpenAI and create an account. It's very simple and free. Okay. Now let me go ahead and ask few questions to ChatGPT. Okay. So I'm saying here, build a simple fast API app. Why I'm asking this question is I have created my last video on this itself where I tried to make a fast API app. Now, as you can see here, it is giving me all the codes. Okay. It is saying me, this is how it can be built. This will create a basic fast API app and then you can use this app. It will also tell me how I can use this app. Okay. So see here all the packages I need, all the commands I need to write and all the steps I need to follow and how I can access that everything from starting to end. It is giving me here and by looking at this, it looks very, very scary. The reason for that is what is our job then? Everything this guy is doing, right? What we will do then, right? So if you ask questions like this to chat GPT, it is very, very good in those aspects. Now you can copy all the codes, run in your machine and done. It's all your fast API app is done. Okay. That was our question number one, which the answer was scary for us as a programmer. Okay. Let's ask another question here. Let me ask here, uh, plot, plot box plot for age distribution in Bangalore. Okay age distribution in Bangalore. So what I'm saying, I'm saying I need a box plot for age of the people in Bangalore. Let's see what it says this time. To plot a box plot for age distribution, you can use the box plot function from matplotlib fine. Then it is saying first you will need to gather data on the ages of people in Bangalore. Now see this guys, this is here it becomes little interesting. Okay. So if it does not have any data, then it, it cannot give you result. That is point number one. Because here I'm asking a specific question. I'm not asking a generic question. I'm asking a specific question. Okay. So Bangalore people's uh, age distribution. I'm not giving data. So it is not giving me the proper answer. You can say it is giving me half answer. It is saying me take the ages and then you write this, you know, command and ages will be given to you. That's fine. It is giving me an indicative answer. This is still helpful to me, but not very scary. Okay, and now most important part of the video guys, I will ask my third question and you will see how I can with confidence say that chat GPT is never going to replace the programmers never. Okay, so I have a question written here in my notepad. Let me take this. So requirements in the in the real world will come like this. Try to understand this guys in the real world. Your requirements will not be generic requirements, right? Your requirements will be specific requirements. For example, do a sales forecast analysis of Flipkart for Q2 and validate based on review from stakeholders for anomalies. So it's a very specific requirement for let's say my project. So what I have to do, I have to take the forecast of the sales. I have to get it reviewed with the reviewer and then for the anomalies and then I have to accept or reject it based on the feedback and the next steps. So this is a very specific process. Let's see what chat DPT has to do on this. So it is telling me to do a sales forecast analysis of Flipkart in Q2. Here are the things you have to do. Gather data on Flipkart sales for previous quarters. Fine. Use this data to build a sales forecasting model. Fine. But remember, it is not giving me a model. Use this data to build a self forecasting model. Which model, how model, what parameters to tune. Nothing it says me, okay? See this output very carefully, guys. If somebody tells you chat DPT is going to kill programmer's life or data scientist's life, right? Use this model to generate Q2 forecast. Review the forecast with stakeholder and gather their feedback. Look for anomalies. Now, who will look for anomalies, guys? Try to think this. Look for any anomalies or discrepancies. What is the definition of a anomalies or discrepancy? Try to understand this. The definition of anomaly or discrepancy will be taken based on uh, expert opinion or data scientist opinion or based on our lots and lots of experience, right? Adjust the model as necessary. How to adjust the model? Where from this knowledge will come? This knowledge will come from us, right? This knowledge will come from data scientist. Validate the forecast by comparing with actual sales as it becomes available. Use this comparison to fine tune your model. Who will do the fine tuning? Fine tuning we will do, right? 
So every time you are giving a, a specific information, it is giving you a generic answer. And every time you are giving a, a you know, generic question, it is giving you a specific answer. Try to understand how, how chat GPT, GPT is working, guys. First question, very, very specific. Build a simple fast API, API app. Very, very specific answer here. This is the code, go, your app is built. Second, little, not very specific, plot box plot. Answer, little generic. Third, very specific question, answer, very generic. Okay, so what we can conclude from here, I leave it to you guys and go ahead and do some practice on this, okay? So guys, what are your thoughts? Let's discuss through comments and please write one query to chat GPT where it is saying, sorry, I can't do this, okay? There will be queries like this. Please think of one such query, write it and paste that in the comment as well. I hope you like this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Please subscribe to Unfold Data Science if you have not done yet. See you all, guys. Till then, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.